Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. In Season 4, we learned a few basic definitions for some real virtues. In this season, we'll be trying to pin down the real meanings of some things that people treat like virtues, which aren't always virtuous. In other words, fake virtues. Today's fake virtue is equality. Again, like freedom, equality seems to mean a lot of different things, and again, I'll be asking what the word really means and whether it's virtuous when understood properly. Generally, in society today, equality is used to mean equivalence, sameness, justice, etc. The dictionary says correspondence in quality, degree, ability, value, or position. Let's look at each of these definitions. We've already gone over what justice means, and we know that's a virtue. In the sense that equality can mean treating people using the same standard, it is justice and is a virtue. However, we've got to be careful here. Treating people with the same standard and treating people the same are not both good. For example, suppose you're a judge and two men come into court, one a very rich man who's guilty of murder, and the other a poor man who's guilty of petty thievery. Now, no one would suggest giving both of them the same sentence for their respective crimes, because their crimes are not the same, so treating people the same is not equality. However, if you sentence the rich man to death or prison time, and the petty thief to a light sentence or a fine, you've treated them differently, but judged them both by the same standard. That's what this aspect of equality is about. Likewise, giving unfair benefits to the rich man just because he's rich would disrupt that standard just as surely as acting like all people are guilty of the same crimes. This is what justice is about, and it's the most virtuous aspect of equality. This is the way in which we should exercise equality in our lives, not in treating all people the same, but in applying the same standards of judgment to everyone, including ourselves. Jesus himself said repeatedly that it's sinful to be a hypocrite and burden people with tasks we wouldn't take up ourselves. However, the other aspects of equality are a little less virtue-oriented. Sometimes people think that two people are only equal when they're the same, but this is clearly false, because no two people are the same. If this were true, equality wouldn't exist. Sometimes, people reply, well, they just need to be the same in terms of being like this, or doing this, or believing in this. However, I see this reply as basically arbitrary. There's no reason to think that whatever issue the person has brought up is a valid standard for determining whether they're equal or not. In fact, if it's something we just came up with, it's certainly not a valid standard since we didn't invent other human beings. God did. In episode 22, we talked about how the descent of man from God is the source of his innate value and following from that his moral rights and obligations, because we all share a common human nature. This is the kind of sameness which we do possess, which makes us equal. We're all human and all creations of God, and we therefore all have the same rights and obligations. That's as far as this kind of equality goes, and it's certainly not meant to force different kinds of people to do the same things or whatever, nor is sameness virtuous. The last kind of equality is equivalence, which helps to put things back in balance again, because this means that people can be equal to one another without necessarily being the same, as we said when talking about sameness. For example, suppose an architect and a soil surveyor meet out in the field to talk about the building they're constructing. The surveyor is a blue-collar guy, he works out in the field, but he's also the head of a team and has a lot of influence over the way the job is done. The architect, on the other hand, works with only a few people and isn't the leader of his team. He's also required to submit his finished designs to another department for review before they're approved. However, he works inside in an office environment. Now, both of these men are important to the task. The surveyor has authority over more people. Does that make him superior? He doesn't do business with as many well-off people in nice suits. Does that make him inferior? Of course not. Both of these men are equal because both have important roles to play in their job. It's just that each has something that the other lacks, so they are each superior to each other in certain skills and abilities, and in certain kinds of authority, but they also complement each other and work equally together. This is equality. This is what it means for people to be equal, not that they are the same or should be treated the same, but that they all have the same value and all contribute something to the world that no one else can. That's, That's all for now, now so keep asking, asking questions, questions and thanks, thanks for watching. watching.